Hey, pipe smokers. Briarleaf00 here again for another tobacco review. This evening, I will be reviewing Solani Blend 633 Virginia Flake with Perique. This is an air cured vapor flake. And let me go ahead and read you the description from the website. Specially selected red Virginias from the Old Belt and ripe bright Virginias sweetened with Louisiana Perique build up this masterpiece of tobacco blending. Okay, let's take a close look at this okay. one first. Here is the 50 gram tin. Take a look inside. Nice wide cut flakes. As you can see, some pretty dark stuff. Let's take the flake out and take a closer look at that. If I can get it out. And there's a closer look. Very nice. Very pleasant tin note, I must say. Sort of like honey sweetened raisins. And this is the 100 gram tin. This is just a metal box, hinged metal box. And the tobacco simply comes wrapped in a cellophane bag that's folded over and taped. So not vacuum sealed. Okay, now let's start the review. Now, if you look this blend up on tobaccoreviews.com, uh, you'll see that they state that it's cased or topped with honey. Now, there's definitely an added sweetness here, whether that's from honey or just sugar. I'm not sure, but it's very, very light and in no way um, really influences the smoke very much. Now for the tasting notes, uh, at the start of the smoke, I get mostly uh, Virginia flavors uh, with the Perique way, way, way in the background. And um, I would define these as the sort of refined Virginia flavors as opposed to the uh, hay slash grassy notes that I sort of associate with what I like to call the rustic Virginias. These are much more refined and more towards the fruity end of the spectrum. Um, but I do get three distinct sort of Virginia flavors here. I get that bold, deep flavor from the red Virginias. I get the light sweetness from the brights. And then I get just that fruitiness running through the whole thing, which is really very pleasant. Uh, once you get it going, um, I get uh, uh, the Perique sort of eases its way into the flavors of the smoke and uh, in the beginning it's mostly a slight mustiness at the end of the exhale is where I notice the preek most but as you get past the first third it really starts to steadily build and build and build and uh, displaying all the characteristics that I look for uh, in a blend that includes preek um, you got the spicy the fruity and the musty and they all, they're all there uh, to one degree or another, which is, uh, once again, uh, very pleasant and something that uh, I always look for in a good vapor. Um, at no point in the smoke does a Perique dominate. Um, and I think that's something that I must say about this blend, is I think there's just a tremendous amount of balance here. Um, no, no one aspect of this blend takes over, but they're all there and they can all be detected and tasted. And that's really fantastic, I think. Um, once we get to, once I get to the halfway point, uh, the pre just continues to build and build, um, but the Virginias also gain flavor and depth. Uh, so it's 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 a very nice interplay between those two general aspects of this blend. Very very smooth, very. Um, flavorful yet extraordinarily for me well behaved uh, the final third is where this one just really hits it out of the park for me those flavors just continue to uh, build and and deepen 
And yet, once again, even in the bottom third where things are really much more in your face, there's still a great balance uh, between the sweetness of the Virginias and the fruitiness of the Virginias and the spiciness and the, and the fruitiness and the mussiness of the Perique. And those all sort of work together really amazingly with this one. And just a, just a tremendous amount of balance, smoothness, and flavor here. Now, if I, if I had to... Um, sort of describe the flavors that I'm getting at, towards the very end of the bowl, I would say it's fairly reminiscent of a Fig Newton, basically. Um, sort of a pastry-like sweetness with a, uh, you know, fig-like fruitiness, as you find in a Fig Newton. Um, really fantastic stuff, great flavor, just wonderful, wonderful flavor from the beginning to the end, and with enough complexity to keep you interested, and keep me interested. Um, so let me talk about um, my just opinions about this one. I think this is a fantastic blend. Um, I think that the flavors are everything I look for in a vapor, and while it might not necessarily be my number one vapor blend, it's absolutely up there. Um, it's not in my top five. It could be knocking on the door. It's solidly in my top 10. Um, let's talk quickly about the smokability of this one. I think this is an absolutely fantastically smokable blend from a brand new tin. Um, I must say I was absolutely shocked by just how well behaved this one was. Uh, no heat absolutely no bite and almost no fatigue from a non-aged tin and that's really great uh, the price on this one generally is a little bit more than most vapors you'll find on the market i think it's absolutely worth the extra money and i would not hesitate to recommend this one both the people who are looking to break into vapors and, and try and expand their horizons into that type of blend and the experienced vapor heads who just already know they love the stuff. I think this could work for just about anybody. Let me go ahead and give this one a rating. Now you've heard what I've had to say about it. You know I like the flavors. You know I like the smokability of this one. So yeah, it's going to get a high score. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.6 out of 10. And that is a very, very high score in my book. And I would absolutely not hesitate to recommend this blend to anybody out there. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in today. I hope this has been somewhat informative. And I hope you'll tune, again, tune in again soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. This is Briarleaf00 saying, take it easy.